Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. So, did you know you could make 30,000, 75,000, 100,000, or even more just by writing and self publishing a book related to you and your business? So, yes, that's what I help people with, and you can do it too. You don't have to be a writer. A common objection I get is, Oh, I'm not a writer, I don't know how to do this, but really? And I've been talking to other people in the space about this recently. The people who didn't go to school for writing actually end up writing the best books of all, especially once they stop overthinking it. So we're going to go through these steps in a lot more detail in the upcoming free business book blueprint challenge. You can press the link in my bio, comment, or DM me for more info on that. It starts December 6th. But I want to go over three things today that you need to do to write that book that's going to make you $30,000, $75,000, $100,000, or even more. And I'm not just talking about book sales, although that's also important. I'm talking about what we call the back end, the services, the products that you can sell. And your book doesn't have to be sleazy or salesy. In fact, if it is, that's going to turn people off. What you need to do is write to your ideal client. So my ideal client is a coach, consultant, or other expert who is ready to amp up their visibility, credibility, and market reach through writing and publishing a book. So my next book, I would write about their needs. I'm actually considering writing a book next year about how to promote your book once you publish it, but that's another story. So the first thing you need to do to write this book that's going to make you 30000 or more on the back end is write to your ideal client. Speak to their needs, their pain. Offer them solutions. You don't want to give away the whole farm, so to speak, but you want to offer them solutions that they can use right away and also entice them to get in touch with you. So definitely always keep your ideal client customer in mind when writing your book. The second thing you want to do is make it easy for them to get in touch with you. So a lot of my clients I work with, uh, for those who don't know, I'm a book development coach. I also edit and proofread books. But a lot of the clients I work with want to like put their main website in a book or maybe not even put it at all. And what I encourage them to do is to either use an existing free offer or create a free offer to entice those readers to sign up for your email list so they can stay in touch with you more easily. So that could doesn't have to be complicated. It could be a complimentary webinar, a recording, maybe a companion workbook, just something that entices them to stay in your world. Also, you want to put, you know, your social medias, things like that. You want to be visible online and fairly easy to find. So that's the second step. Make it easy for them to get in touch with you. And then the third and final step is once you had that book edited and published, uh, a big mistake folks make is they drop it on Amazon and they think a lot of things are going to happen right away. And that's just not true. You have to promote it like anything else in your business. You want to be doing podcast interviews, newspaper, TV, radio interviews, guest blogging, doing lives with other people, doing lives yourself. The possibilities are endless. But you have to let folks know that the book exists once it's edited and published. Otherwise, how are people going to get in touch with you? And that goes back to step two. You're not making it easy for them to get in touch with you if you're, you know, not promoting your book. A lot of people I've found publish that book and then they're shy about speaking of it. They don't want to bother people. And, you know, you have a solution. It's a very low cost solution. It's a great way for people who have been following you on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, etc. to get to know you better with low risk. So you want to promote the book as much as possible, obviously without being creepy about it. But you have to keep in mind that just because you post about something 10 times does not mean the same people can see those things 10 times. So definitely promote your book once it's edited and published. So the three steps again to making that 30000 or more with your business book Book is one, write to your ideal client, really speak to their pain and the solutions you offer, the expertise, the people you've worked with, etc. Two, 
make it easy for them to get in touch with you, ideally through a free offer. It's great if it's customized to the book, but it doesn't need to be. But just make it something that's good enough for them to want to give you that email address. And then three, promote your book as in an, as many places as possible where you think your ideal clients are hanging out once it's published. So if you want to learn a heck of a lot more and actually get started writing your business book, because like I said earlier, the best books I've read actually have not been from people who consider themselves professional writers. So from December 6th to 11th, I'm having the free business book blueprint print challenge and we're literally going to start writing your book and you're going to learn a lot of things that you can use to continue writing that book so go to mybizbookblueprint.com mybizbookblueprint.com that's also in my bio so you can press the link in my bio if you didn't catch that you can comment or dm me and i look forward to starting your really amazing money making business book with you and we'll see you inside take care bye